Hello everyone at home, we're back with our Friday Adobe Live session and I haven't been on here for ages. I'm super happy to see the community again. I missed you all um, sitting at home still, we're still going. Um, and I've been in the background kind of, you know, planning some sessions, getting some guests in. And I just wanted to come over and say hi, mostly to all of you who are watching either on Behance or on YouTube. If you're over on YouTube, we don't check the chat over there, so come over to behance.net um, slash live uh, to talk to us, log in and say hi to our guest today, because that's the other reason I'm joining in. I love Danny and I wanted to be on here and come and chat. Danny, how are you doing? Hey, so happy to hear that. Thanks so much. Um, I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we have to say hi to everyone at home and I haven't forgotten my host duties and a little bit of the housekeeping we have to do before we kickstart the session today. Um, we have plenty of streams we've been doing and this is the last one of the week um, and you're still joining in at home and I want to say hi to everyone who's in the chat. So let me pull that up while we're here. Um, I said hi in the chat already, but we have, oops, we have Caroline, we have Oliver who's still here, um, Jackie, of course, Gareth, Andreas, um, Long time no see Emma, Tim says, um, and some new faces as well, which I love to see that. Um, Daryl, um, Lisa, we also had the German stream just before this. So obviously some of you are still kicking around. So thanks for joining. Um, we have another Tim, some support for Danny already. So great so to have you all. Um, and I'm also super excited for today because we have some illustration. We're gonna be on Illustrator, Danny, you're your field this is your thing and i also wanted to jump back on the stream today because you've changed since we last saw you you've kind of gone into character a little bit more you're um illustrating some really powerful women and of course i heard that i had my ears ringing and i wanted to come and see what you've been working on so remind everyone who you are if they don't know you and where you're based and um what your work is about yeah, hi everyone. I'm Dani, a freelance illustrator based in Hamburg. And as Emma already told you, I like a, a year ago, I did lots and lots of botanicals and were more working in the field of packaging and more in the natural world. But uh, that quite changed a bit during the pandemic. I had a bit more time uh, to explore. Uh, illustrator more vectors more and yeah changed my changed up my work and my workflow and felt super inspired especially with uh illustrator on the ipad like that changed for me everything i started out with fresco that was also like very great but yeah recently really got into illustrator on the ipad i think it's just perfect so yeah, and I do mainly now uh, advertising illustrations or branding illustrations and editorial as well. Yeah, and display lots of strong, dynamic women. And yeah, for today, I created a piece that shows the uh, powerful transitioning from summer to autumn, which we are like living through right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I approached you and I said, "Let's." this was the brief, just autumn, and that's probably one of the worst briefs to give to someone. <laughs> and I just said, all right, let's talk a little bit about seasonal change. Um, autumn came a little bit quicker this year, didn't it? Um, we were just talking about this before, but some regions of Europe haven't, you know, had a real summer. I don't know about you guys at home in the chat if you've experienced a nice summer yet. Um, but, you know, it's nice to address and if you can inspire your art, um, I thought, you know, you did a great job. You showed me a couple of sketches yesterday and I was really excited to see which one you'd yeah, start working Thanks on. Thanks so much. 
I'm so happy because you cho chose the sketch I like the yeah. most as well. So really, yay. oh great! Yeah. Um, and I was also asking around. I was like, hey, what do you like? And um, we all really like this one because it's a little bit more dynamic. And you use that word as well just now. Um, but there was something very uplifting about it. Um, so maybe more kind of positivity coming out of it as yeah. well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you're all ready to go. <laughs> on the iPad. Yeah, kind of. Um, I prepared a color palette uh, already, mm -hmm. which is yeah. I think it's quite colorful still. Like, but also we have the oranges and the reds for uh, the the uh, autumn mood. But still, like we also have on the right the summer side. So. Yeah, I, I'm not sure yet how to to like put place the colors, but I'm very much like love the happy accidents and yes. just start somehow somewhere and figure it out while I'm doing it. I love it. I'm um, already swayed towards that really bold yellow that you've got in there. Oh. Um, and somehow that, that's yeah, attracted my eye a lot and I really like it. So you're all set. Um, what's, let's talk about a little bit about the elements you've got in there, because I remember your art as being very based on botanics. Um, you had a lot of inspiration with you, even in your background there, <laughs> we can see the plants growing at the back. Um, but that's some of the, you know, art that's maybe still a little bit in your work. Um, you can see there in the background. Yeah, definitely. Like on the right side, I added some palm trees and a couple of flowers because for me, that's very like summery. And mm -hmm. the cherries here and some ice cream and of course the sun. And some waves for the beach and like keeping a bit more abstract, but like still like relatable. Yeah. And yeah, and on the left side, you can see like uh, a cup of tea and like a star or it could also be a snowflake or and here's a scarf and also like some abstract trees and some leaves and like oh well, yeah um yeah well and i also i have the eye here which i use often in my work for mm -hmm. like the the emotional and like uh, the transition to like a more quiet and calmer season so that we stay inside a bit more and like probably sit on the sofa and watch some TV and it's getting darker earlier and yeah just like I have an, uh, a kite also because that's what the Germans do in autumn. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I missed something. I've been in Germany for two years now and um, yeah, I love catching a little bit of the cultural bits <laughs> that are going on around. So the kite, yeah. Yeah, that was something Noted. I really enjoyed as a child. Like oh, we, nice. went, we went to the field or the meadows and you could, because it was so windy in the north of Germany, you could like let them fly. And there's also festivals for kites where like super colorful and they prepare animals animal kites and these kind of things cool maybe it's more of a northerner thing as well you have a bit more wind up there i yeah, don't know probably. anyone in munich anyone in the south of germany you want to tell us <laughs> <laughs> otherwise i'll join them all i haven't flown a kite in a very long time <laughs> i don't yeah. know how much skill it requires <laughs> <laughs> not much i think it's just okay. it, it requires two people that one person is holding the kite and the other one is like having the uh the the What's it called? The line? Like which yeah, yeah. 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 And it's then you have more. to hold it in front of you and check out the, the wind situation. Okay. And then you can just like let it go up with the wind. Yeah. Usually okay. it's quite easy. If there is another So which one, one is the fun job? The the one who's holding the kite surely doesn't have the most fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's yeah. more fun because you can also like steer it in different directions. And yeah, there's like some aggressive kites as well, which is like sport sport kites. And well, I got really scared as a child because like, no yeah, they're really fast and like you can go and do like loopings and things. Wow, okay, so an actual, do they have competitions? I don't know, to be mm -hmm. honest. I don't know how this, this went into a whole kite tangent. <laughs> <where we> just, <laughs> the art of kites. Anyone with a strong opinion in the chat, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I would be very intrigued to know about that. <laughs> We've got Jane saying she's never flown a kite. So yeah, maybe we're very niche at the moment. <laughs> Probably. Sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, but that's the elements I chose to like uh, display and yeah, autumn and summer. If you have anything, maybe we can like build it in as well if I've missed Ooh. something 
let me think. I mean, I love that you have the ice cream there, of course. Um, no, I think it's looking pretty good. The sun. Oh. Anyone in the chat who wants to add something, let us know. I love when we could do that as well. And get you guys joining in. If it's not too difficult, I'm happy to add something. Yeah. Someone's going to say like <laughs> a mention. <laughs> some crazy building everyone's still saying hi in the chat and kind of catching up as well talking about summer um oliver says we had summer in july for about half an hour one afternoon yeah it felt like it I'm especially sorry, in hamburg yep munich wasn't great either um so we're still waiting i'm hoping it's kind of just a delayed effect where we're seeing it come out maybe so we could um, get some like golden summer vibes still happening. Not even. We could have Christmas on the beach or something. <laughs> it's so delayed. I I don't know if that's a good thing, you know, climate change wise, obviously. But I hope we have a yeah, really golden autumn. Yeah, that would be lovely. I would really enjoy that. Yeah. Being able to get out a little bit more. And as a cyclist myself, I would love some yeah dry weather. <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs> I mean, I'm living in Hamburg. It, everything you've ever heard about London, it's actually happening over here. It rains oh. every day. Yeah. Because you know what? I lived in London for yeah two years, and it's not as rainy as people make it to be. Um, I I know there's strong opinions, but um, I had pretty nice summers. So even that stereotype might not be so true. Um, but yeah, so it sounds like everyone should take a look at Hamburg, <laughs> rain wise. <laughs> But we were just talking before the, the stream as well, Danny, that you're always on the lookout for new destinations to move to. Um, and I think the last year has meant a lot for all of us and creators at home who are able to now work anywhere. Um, and if they can, obviously, and have the freedom to, they can, yeah, move abroad. We had some hosts in the French stream who are, you know, who were in Portugal. Um, and that has a special place in your heart, Danny, as well, Portugal. But Yes, definitely. Um, Everyone's been moving around and being able to still work, um, which I'm really grateful for um, as well. Starting to work on the colors. Yeah, I just thought that having the, the trees orange would be nice. To, have, to like really have a, a autumn-ish. Yeah. Let me know if you have other ideas. I'm happy to... No, this is great. Change things up. We had some questions in the chat. I can see um, color-wise. Um, all right, so a bit of a longer question for you, Danny. Okay. Is it faster for you to create colors on the fly and pick from the spots you have on your canvas? Or do you ever create swatches in the CC library to use on either Illustrator on iPad or Fresco? Um, actually, I, I start out with uh, palettes I usually chose before, but ending up with different colors most of the time to be mm -hmm. honest yeah no nice. uh, except it's a client project and the colors are chosen yeah. already and i can't really change things up but even yeah. though if i would find a better option or maybe it's possible to add certain shades or like nuances or yeah then mm -hmm. i would ask but yeah usually like yeah. there's a branding in place already and you yeah. have to stick to the colors that are chosen already but yeah when i do work for myself or portfolio work yeah i don't know i really like the and love the happy accidents yeah and yeah you mentioned this already once it's interesting um yeah. so you kind of you're not so sad but you let that develop as well throughout the process um, and you're really active. Anyone who, if you know, doesn't follow Danny on Instagram, you know, Danny's really active on there. Um, you're posting a lot of the work that you create on stream. I know you did some streams in the US as well and German side. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of your kind of new identity and your new characters on there. You did some um, Olympic themed uh, characters recently uh, with us, which was so nice to see. And I guess my question for you is, you know, how do you keep yourself challenged now that you have this new... Um, you know, experiment and, and more than experiment, you're creating all these strong female, uh, you know, uh, bodies and um, themes. What's next for you? <laughs> What's next for me? Hmm. I think I have to explore also men a bit more. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I started doing that. But yeah, I'm still like, it's all right. But uh, I think they're not as... Uh, 
yeah precise yet mm -hmm. I think I've, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident about the women but I still have to like work on the men a bit more to create more groups and also display more diversity and be more yeah. inclusive and mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely next but also yeah I don't know I'd like to try more, be more abstract as well, and like really yeah. like squeeze out my style. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something yeah, yeah. that that will never stop happening and yeah. developing. So, yeah. But I like that you're exploring, and that it led to this um, as well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and definitely more animation. Like I really want to like work more with After Effects as well. Have you started already, or is that? Uh... A little around. bit, yeah. a little bit, <laughs> but not quite uh, as as once as I would like it to be. Yeah. But yeah, I got myself a new computer, which is actually like doing it for me, like, which I don't know, because before I only had like um, 4 GB RAM or like 8 GB, and that's not enough for After Effects. So I treated myself with a new computer. To get and the I... right gear. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, Love and it. then... I will probably set it up this weekend and start working on animations as well and mm -hmm. hopefully share soon. <laughs> Love it. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time to learn the program and feel um, like fluent it is. Yeah, Rachel's been doing a little bit of animation as well. This is what I, I'm always trying to connect with other creators we've received who are also experimenting with After Effects and it's um, quite common actually a lot of illustrators are trying to challenge themselves and bring this to life i think it's there's a beautiful thing in seeing your art come to life yeah um, definitely you, um and i think with yours it would definitely you know lend itself lend itself really nicely to that and to animation um but yeah rachel presky has been doing a little bit um with her still life bringing it to life um ironically um yeah, we also had, I think her name was Marina on the German stream who was doing some After Effects work and it was absolutely mind-blowing. Um, so yeah, love that we have this little community we can learn from each other. And it's so much fun to see your uh, characters to start moving also. So really looking yeah. forward to that. And I love Rachel's work. <laughs> yeah, Car Rachel's great. Yeah, um, also watched the the session with Karina and Rachel when they did mm -hmm. something for the Olympia thing. Yeah. And yeah. loved both illustrations so much. Yeah. They were beautiful. Um, yeah, I think this is something that we need to keep going with and, um, you know, taking some of the community's work and developing this and um, also helping you guys at home with, you know, anything you're stuck on. Um, we have a Discord as an amazing place for that as well, just to chat along when we're not live um, and can't necessarily address your questions. Um, you know, we're all connected on there and, and happy to help. And this is a really open learning place uh, for everyone at home. Um, but yeah, Karina and uh, Rachel and Karina's in the chat. So hi, Karina. Um, but um, we're doing and drawing on your guys' work, um, which is you know, always really rewarding. And great to see how they can develop that. I was pretty mind blown <laughs> with what they created. Um, but yeah, Olympics are still going, right? We had the Paralympics were on. Um, I don't know if they're reaching the end. Um, but that was also a great source of inspiration after such a long, tough year. Um, yeah. Tuning in together. Who else is in the chat? Um, Kirsty is asking, <laughs> saying congrats on your new um, computer and she's asking what Thank laptop you. you treated yourself to. <laughs> <laughs> so happy about you, it. Did you hmm? get a Mac or what did you get? Yeah, a uh, Mac mini. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because oh, I it, like I thought about when I want to move, then I don't want to like move a 27 inch screen, right? So yeah. I thought yeah. Mac Mini was the way to go because I can put it in my backpack and yeah. get a screen wherever I'm going to ending up. So, True. yeah. Yeah. I also got myself very small. I mean, it's the normal size 13 inch, but um, MacBook. But somehow I've been really craving now that we're working from home so much more, a bigger screen on my Mac itself, um, not just the monitor um separately just to uh, work on and see all you guys work on a bigger screen i'm not always home um so when i travel i actually am keen on getting a bigger screen on my laptop but um let's see where, see where that goes 
it changes with what you're doing and the, the type of work you're probably creating yourself. I mean, you're on the iPad a lot as well, so that must be quite satisfying. Yeah, definitely. And you're moving along with colors so fast. I love seeing you work on this tutor. <laughs> yeah, I, I really love to like uh, do something quickly and then mm -hmm. see how it works and if the composition is right or if mm -hmm. it feels kind of wrong. Yeah, and then and yeah, are you still spending some time on fresco? How are you finding your new kind of split between your workflow? Is that something that you're still dedicating some time on, or you're purely hooked on Illustrator? Uh, actually, I do both. I think I mm -hmm. do the sketches always in fresco. Yeah, and it depends. Like I, I can create two different looks actually with the two different programs because the the um, Illustrator is a bit more static but mm -hmm. more clean as well. Yeah. And the fresco is a bit more organic. Mm -hmm. So it always depends what the clients are actually looking for and which illustrations of mine they like the best. So yeah. I move from this to this and back mm. and forth. It always depends what the deliverables are as well. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah, for anyone at home, that's really interesting to hear as well, how you know your kind of perspective of both are and um, how you can use our different tools. Um, yeah but I like how open you are to your clients I mean you mentioned palettes from the start you know how much are you able to work with them in terms of colors and hopefully having that a bit more of a partnership than something that's just one way um but nice getting onto that character yes I really love how illustrator on the ipad is like it's such a great tool to work with because uh, Illustrator on the computer is even more static and I kind of like the in-between look that you can just grab the pencil here and like go around the curves and adjust later a bit but still like it looks still you can still create lots of movement with mm -hmm. that yeah and it's not all super super perfect But yeah, male characters would be interesting. I'd love to see more of that as well. Is that something your clients ask for as well? Or it's just purely coming from your end? What do you mean? Like, to start with, to um, illustrate male characters as well. Um, they're asking for it as well. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> of course, <laughs> I also want to include men. Like, yeah, yeah. Yep. getting there yeah it's it's building up slowly but then it's really coming together in the end that's what I like the best as well yep for anyone confused at home um, and who's joining now Danny's is German and has her iPad running in German I just noticed some of the notifications are little <laughs> pop-ups in German so um, yeah, locking those true. layers nicely <laughs> um, yeah yeah gesperrt yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's great. I'm learning at the same time. <laughs> Do you speak German already a bit? Or? Um, I think say my understanding is pretty good. Um, I'm sure there are some of our regulars in the chat who speak better German than me watching all our streams. <laughs> um, but it's a work in progress. But say, um, speaking is a lot harder, you know, like the conjugation doesn't come to you as easily. Um, I think I'm quite shy with my pronunciation as well and getting that. You know, I think in... Um, in Bavaria, you get corrected, so <laughs> or they'll switch to English. So I'll I'll have to just be a bit more stubborn. That's that's the next step. Being more I'm, disciplined. Yeah, but I'm sure you're doing great. Ah, thanks. I'll try. <laughs> Keep trying. Um, Tim in the background is probably laughing, but I always get teased to do a stream in German. <laughs> One day that will be the achievement. That will you be you and lovely. I, Danny. In Yay! Ger in German. <laughs> One hour. <laughs> it will just be you talking. <laughs> We can do something like Denglish, like do something in between yeah. and like switch from here and there. Exactly. It's like this weird space between our UK and German streams that we'll create um, <laughs> for all the half languages, you know. Do you speak yeah. other languages, Danny, other than English and German? No, to be honest, I would love to do Spanish and Portuguese, obviously, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah, English, I think my English is all right. It could be better, <laughs> but... 
I don't know. Yeah, I got a bit rusty because uh, when I moved back from Canada, it's been like six years already and you wow, lose okay. so much of your vocabulary. I think like yeah. half of it is already gone because you're not using it properly all the time. There is not so many opportunities. So mm -hmm. where yeah. in Canada did you live? Uh, first five months or six months, I think I did in Montreal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then... I wanted to see the other side of Canada as well and moved to a small town next to Calgary in the Rocky Mountains, like to already also experience a bit of nature there, nice. like living, living in the mountains, go skiing mm -hmm. there and snowboarding and oh, amazing. Yeah. And I was so sad when I had to leave. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah. But I would love Canada as well. It'd be amazing. It was a nice experience and it really helped me because before my English was the worst. <laughs> and now we've started this uh, German conversation in the chat. <laughs> I'm getting teased heavily. Um, <laughs> um, Daryl is saying I've not used the Illustrator or Illustrator on the iPad. Um, looks fun to draw and adjust. Uh, yeah, try it out, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, you totally should. It, it really is like the best. To be honest mm -hmm. and you and can have... also like uh trans yes. tra transfer your artwork um to the illustrator on the ipad and clean afterwards a little bit more because sometimes mm -hmm. i have difficulties to like find all the uh, little things to clean up because the ipad of course is smaller than a 27 inch screen but still yeah. it's such a useful tool i really love it like it, so you're I'm, going from iPad to desktop, you mean transferring over or yeah, this is yeah. what's being mentioned in the chat as well. Um, Kath is saying that she misses some of the menus and extras that you can get on desktop. So she's shifting over um, or just using Fresco on iPad. Yeah, but it like, makes my workflow so much like quicker also because recently I've done a client project and yeah, I was able to like draw something really quickly with my iPad, then transferring it to my desktop. And from there, it mm -hmm. was just a couple of clicks and I was able to send it in. So, yeah. I really do love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like clean up always the, the anchor points. Mm -hmm. while I'm doing it a lot, yeah. like to reduce it a bit more. Getting that done up front, but you're moving along so fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> you have time, you have time. <laughs> She's halfway, incredibly fast. Yeah, and there, there are so many details always in the end, like mm -mm. it like the first uh, kind of impression is done quickly, but then it takes hours to like refine and work out all the deep details and yeah. Kath is telling me that once I've mastered all the verbs, I'll nail it. So I guess I have a verb masterclass to give myself in German. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's getting there. Yeah. Do you guys have any uh, color choices? Do you want me to add on the any additional? Yeah. Is there anything that I'm missing? Because I don't have any green. That's true. Yeah. So maybe if you have any ideas, I'm happy to include all that. A very light green. A very light green. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe something like let me let me check it out we can uh, and kath is saying also green but a lime color so i guess a little bit more of your um bolder yellow and we have tim another tim <laughs> asking for <laughs> petrol lisa also says that petrol would be nice 
Oh, Petra, yeah. Yeah, I quite like that idea as well. Me too. Aha, you winners. Karina is going for Petra as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's a Petra, fan club. <laughs> Petra for the win, I'd say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If you're joining now, it's a very weird time where we're talking about petrol. <laughs> um, but we are talking about Danny's art and color selection. <laughs> so let's choose a petrol. Team petrol, it is. There's way too much excitement for that. <laughs> um, Tim is saying that we do have a hackathon coming up next week while uh, Danny keeps going with the color selection at the moment. Um, we have a really big hackathon on here um, and we've been running these about, you know, monthly basis now. Um, you guys love it. Um, so we're going to keep going. Um, and next week is actually hosted by Joe. So each host has been taking turns um, with a specific tool or a theme. We had Tanya doing a whole branding hackathon. You can watch that on replay, of course. Um, we had Julia recently as well, who uh, worked on portrait painting. And there's always a bit of a competition to get you guys involved. Uh, so next week um, will be, what, the second week of September. Um, and starting with InDesign. Uh, so Joe has also been developing. It's really nice to see all these creatives, um, you know, working on their own uh, path or also backtracking. Turns out Joe has a lot in a good way. <laughs> um, you know, a great kind of graphic background as well. And we'll show a bit of his magic um, and keep diving into InDesign next week. So if you've had a question about this, um, come, and, come and join. Uh, participate ask us on any questions of course we'll have hosts again so Joe will be a guest so we'll have uh, Tony there and Maddie and um, everyone else helping him out to get through that hackathon week <laughs> it sounds amazing are you experimenting with InDesign Danny is that something you've been using at all yeah. are you using InDesign at all in your work or any oh, not really only, only, <laughs> only if i do like uh client pdfs like okay to... yeah that's still fair um yeah but i really like it as well like it makes life easier mm. and it looks good kirstie um get in design if you can <laughs> maybe next week we'll give you a test of that um, and Tim is saying yes you can get a 7 day free trial to test it out so maybe start that on Monday and you can experiment all week and let us know how you got on um, it might be a nice way to test it um, Kirsty would like a photography hackathon yes I would like to see more photography coming back um, and Danny is nodding as well and um, it's yeah definitely yeah, there, it's been also um really interesting year for photographers who maybe rely on shooting a lot more um, and have found themselves working from home and being a little bit more stuck, especially if they were, you know, in travel photography and so on. Um, so I always enjoy speaking to them, chatting to them, catching up on what they've been working on the last year, whether that's still life or finding new paths. Um, but now that things are opening up, um, I saw that Joe was out and about in London, for example, and Joe Allen from shooting again and um, yeah, we'll have to check in and, and do a little bit of a Lightroom Photoshop hackathon, hopefully. That would be really interesting. Are you taking pictures of yourself as well a lot? I Actually, that's the one thing that I'm, I'm not um, into illustration so much. I don't think I have that much of a talent <laughs> playing there, I wish. Um, I'm amazed watching you folks always. But photography is one of the um, fields that I'm always really interested in. And, um, I love traveling, so that's one thing that I've always experimented with. But I'm very much an on-the-go social creator type. I'm, you know, have my iPhone, trusted iPhone 11, and just walk around and shoot that way. Um, I do use Lightroom on my phone a lot, um, and that's my best friend. Um, and yeah, I'll be talking a little bit more about this process as well at Max, which is coming up. Um, Adobe Max is back this year. Um, and we're focusing a lot more on you guys who are out and about as well and on the go and want to create. So whether that's on an iPad or a phone, trying to find ways to create very, you know, instantly and edit or, um, you know, publish and interact um, with others. So that process and workflow is getting a lot smoother um, in the next months with some updates from our end. Um, so stay tuned for that. 
Um, but yeah, I'm a very, I'm a socially active <laughs> person, so I post on Instagram a lot, um, and um, that's most of. I think if you have this platform in mind already, you create different things as well, right? It depends where you're going to publish, um, and I'm sure you go through that process with your clients as well. It's a lot of, you know, where's what's the final format? What's the final purpose of what you're creating? You know, what size are you looking at? And we had um, Rachel talking about a mural last week, so that's a complete different kind of scale you're looking at. Um, and um, that gives a lot of purpose to your work as well and what you're creating. Um, so That's yeah. true. Yeah, because I love your stories always. Ah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I like, and you know, Instagram and all social channels are getting a lot of, um, you know, are looked at very closely and the kind of impact it has on us and our mental health being on it a lot. But I also like that it's a great storytelling tool and we forget about that. You know, you can transport people, you can... Um, give them an insight into your life or your world and that is of course filtered and, and often very positive but if it gives people a break I think that's quite powerful um, in difficult times to at least daydream a bit I'm a bit of a daydreamer <laughs> I think that's important um, but yeah aha so we have a lot of max comments Mention that for two seconds and there we go. <laughs> yeah, I also do, um, already uh, signed in as well and like scheduled good. a couple of things. Your uh, spe speaker uh, appointment I have scheduled as well, of course. Nice. As, the wow. same with Rachel's. Nice. We have many familiar faces who are going to be at Max this year. Um, and Danny, you just gave the perfect talk. That's it. You can register. <laughs> you can register. You can schedule sessions. I swear this wasn't planned. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Max is back. We're going to be there end of October. Um, of course, all online is going to be free. Um, and just like last year. And I so cherish those moments, moments that we had last year, seeing the community come together. Um, it was incredible. And we were all running completely high after Max, thinking this was you know, such a strong um, and solid experience. So we're back. Um, and you can register already, as I said, um, some great sessions. We'll be here on Adobe Live as well. We'll have a community lounge where you can hang out. You can speak to some of the Adobe Max speakers. Um, there'll be some interviews and there'll be plenty of sessions from your familiar hosts. Um, so we'll have Joe on there and Tony and everyone else um, sharing a little insight into our latest updates. What other registrations have you got, Danny? Do you, uh, do you remember any other sessions you're excited about? <sighs> What's that then? I think I mm -hmm. uh, scheduled a couple about uh, Adobe After Effects. Because mm -hmm. I want to know nice. what's uh -huh. up there. Yeah. And, well, uh, I don't know. I think, yeah, there's a lot of, already. Like, I have to definitely get more into it as well. But I'm yeah, a... which one is which one are you looking forward to the most for you? I'm having a live stream live moment of plugging in my laptop to charge. <laughs> it's <laughs> a magical uh, somehow not working. I'm trying to fix it. Fix la troubleshooting live. <laughs> um, I will let you can do it. Anyway. I can do it. I can do it. Yay. Oops. <laughs> Somehow, I would like to keep some battery on my <laughs> my stream and then answer all your questions on Max. Yeah. Sometimes it runs out quicker than expected, right? Exactly. Happens, happens to the best. That I'm having. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> There you go. We're back. <laughs> Woohoo! And um, thanks for the bearing with those little minutes, everyone. Um, so yeah, Max sessions. Yeah, I'm really excited about um, Marina from Pentagram. We'll have a session and we'll actually receive her on the community lounge as well for a little interview. Of course, the keynote. I mean, every year um, we're excited to talk to and listen to Shantanu, our CEO, um, share his overall excitement. Um, It's quite contagious to watch that kind of opening. I'm always so impressed. Um, and I love that it's live 
and free again this year because it's something that you know not everyone could have access to or travel to you know the US before uh, for um, and so this I think accessibility that we had last year is magical um, and that's why everyone was so excited about Max and getting their own little journey and experience of it um, as well. Let me chat, uh, let me check the chat <laughs> a little bit. Um, I've got some people joining. Um, Sean is in the chat. <laughs> Tim has shared all the links in there. So max.adobe.com is where you should go if you want to check out registration. Hmm. Oliver is saying Emma's photos are normally bikes, landscapes, or bikes, <laughs> <laughs> which is so accurate. Um, and even landscapes from my bike, let's not forget. So it still involves bikes in indirectly. Um, but oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> such a um, mini vacation also to watch. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. I think. Um, I'm fascinated by, I don't know about you, but you know, people who do things that are different from my day to day. Um, and that's maybe the vacation side of it where, you know, I'm so fascinated and intrigued by, you know, people who do specific sports that I'm not familiar with, or who, you know, have art and are illustrators or photographers like all of you guys. And I find that really inspiring because it's so different from me or my abilities. Um, and you can learn a lot from that. Um, so yeah, Instagram can have a good influence as well if you manage to use it the right way. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You're not allowed mm. to get too emotionally attached to it. Yeah. And we we're talking about this um, before the stream, Danny, but there are a lot of people we speak to every day on channels and this can be also in Adobe Live. So many of us haven't met in person. Um, and I, you know, have so many conversations with people that I wish I could come and visit. So I hope um, you know, all these Instagram friends will be also real life friends <laughs> at some point in the next years. Yeah, that would be lovely. I would love to meet Karina, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Karina. <laughs> Karina yeah, be, because we talk, we talk quite regularly, but haven't actually ever met. But still, yep. like, such a beautiful thing that came out of Instagram. Same with Lisa. I Hi, see. Lisa. <laughs> but we actually <laughs> met in person because we live in the same city so it's wonderful yeah yeah um agreed and then uh, karina for anyone who's watching is um can, uh, can you can follow along on instagram uh, austrian based illustrator and you might see her um often on our german stream um german speaking stream of course um but uh yeah also doing some work in there on fresco um, but I also wanted to go back to what you're doing now, your process, Danny, where you're still going while we chat. Uh, you're still yeah. an illustrator. And um, this is uh, coming straight from the chat. Kath is asking if you use the blob tool when drawing some elements. The what tool? Blob Maybe? tool. Blob tool? What is blob. that? Blob. Blob tool. Hmm. She has to explain, then yes. we can try it uh -huh. out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm intrigued. I want to know what it is now. We're all going. I went quite far up. Jane is saying the blob brush. The blob. Ah, that one here. I'm going back to see where you are. Yep. I usually love to work uh, my uh, eyelid with it mm -hmm. for these little details, which okay. look a yeah. bit more organic, or for lips yeah. and stuff, or maybe even also for like uh, doing uh patterns on clothes or yeah that's a very nice. great tool but yeah more like for little details or if it needs to be a bit more uh, the look has to be more how to say that um more round yep but yeah too bad for this one i don't have eyelids <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't part of the but you do yeah. use it yeah, I can I can show you though if you want if you'd like to see. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I mean, everyone's saying yeah, long press on the pencil tool and two years. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So, just usually I put it a bit smaller and then you can like do beautiful. See, I mean, that's wonderful. 
I love that. For oh, that's a bit. This is a bit delayed. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. It's now, like wow. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm. Yeah. That's like super like, easy, yeah. and you can also go in and change something if you have yeah. to. But usually, like it produces such a beautiful line on its own. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. nice. Could yeah. be used for eyebrows, but you're definitely a bit more square as well. Yeah, I could actually try maybe make a bigger one. Ah, yeah, maybe the other way around. Hmm, where is it? Here. Yeah. Not completely, but I can rework a bit. <laughs> Sandra is saying also very cool for hair. This one is the direct selection tool, I think. Oh, there you go. You're. Oh. Yeah, it works nicely. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. I'm not so sure about the black, but do you have an idea which hair color she should have? Go for a nice brown. Nothing nice crazy. Brown. Like a lighter brown. Let's see. Then in her, will that clash with the skin color? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's also what I'm thinking. No, we, we can check it out. Maybe it kind of works. I don't know. More of like a, yeah. Something like that, maybe. I put something for the hair now, and then we can see and redefine if we want something else. Yeah, that's what I actually love to like play around with the colors a lot yeah. and find the right combination. Aha, uh -huh. that's a nice suggestion. Lisa is saying plum color for her hair. Oh, that's a nice, yeah, suggestion. And Jane is saying red, Auburn red. So that will be a light brown. Yeah, that's darkening a little bit, right? Yeah, a plum would be nice. That's yeah, I agree. A plum, right? Um, maybe a little lighter, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm liking Lisa, it. Thanks for that. <laughs> that was a very great suggestion. The yeah. eye. Yeah, I really love that. Oops. Yeah, sometimes there's a bit too many anchor points with the tool, yep. but mm -hmm. still, like, I just love the the shapes it creates. Yeah, and you're moving along with it so quickly that it's yeah. effortless. <laughs> still have to make the fingers a bit. <laughs> Illustrator makes me way too overwhelmed for it. I would just be straight on fresh <laughs> Um So I'm just, yeah, so impressed. So, and you can also add some anchor points mm -hmm. afterwards, which is very helpful because right now I don't think the fingers look so nice. Yeah, just rounding a little bit the edges. Yeah, making it a bit more like soft. The chat is asking for streaks in the hair. <laughs> streaks, yeah, I will create some. Darker ones or Done. lighter? I love how this is like an order in a cafe. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> if you want that, get that. <laughs> so, um, what, well, let me check. Um, pink streaks. Yeah, everyone's asking for some pinkish. Pinkish. Mm. A lighter then. So, that's already a bit better. Then I need another one here for the hand. Yes. Getting there. So it's a lot of little adjusting, but still like so in love with that. So brighter streaks. Hmm. Probably adding the tool now. Oops. 
maybe a bit too much, but I think it's interesting, definitely. Working through it. Yeah. That movement is so satisfying. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I also love watching mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So. Sandrine in the chat is saying there's a nice auto simplify function when you select the path with the direct selection tool. It saves a lot of time moving, removing anchor points. Um, some help with um, quicker workflow. So I can too. Yeah, that's also something mm -hmm. I use sometimes on the desktop. Yeah. Should there be another streak somewhere? I think that's pretty good. The background has a lot happening, so <laughs> we're going all out. That's true, but I really like, yeah. love lots of details. <laughs> yeah. And I just see that my ice cream is in the wrong layer. It's not supposed to be here. Layer of chaos. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, because I try to like uh, move quickly. <laughs> but it's also part of the game, I guess. So ice cream, you have to go here. And Tim in the chat is asking um, if anyone wants to see something specific on the stream. I know photography was mentioned, but if you're missing on uh, content, you've been looking for something specific um, and you're not getting the help you need at home, let us know. Um, we can definitely schedule in some time um, on some of our tools. Um, you know, we don't talk enough about Spark um, and obviously, yeah, we mentioned Lightroom, um, but what else are you missing? <laughs> How can we help? Let us know. And Danny, we have about eight minutes to go. What? A bit more. Let's round up to 10. I know, right? It's going crazy. That <laughs> went by quickly. This looking for my charger, <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's flying. When did this happen? So quickly. <laughs> okay, is there anything I should be, uh, should have finished before we are? I'm really interested by the face um, and working oh, through face. her okay. face a little bit more in the, that detail. I love to see. Let's do this. And you can finish that character. <laughs> So I'll open up. But obviously, let us know in the chat. We can run a little bit over. We'll be cheeky. It's Friday. <laughs> um, we can go for another 10 minutes. So I have the lips. I always do them like super red. Yeah. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. But I, I usually prefer like the mm -hmm. red lip. The bolder, yeah. Again, Christy. going. Yep. Yeah. What did you? Christy is asking for an Adobe Spark hackathon. <laughs> we'll go through all our tools eventually on the hackathon. Don't worry. Um, but that's a good point. I think a social creation maybe um, hackathon could work nicely. Oliver's asking for. Okay. Um, I'm always happy to see more photography streams, but I love watching creators working in other apps. And that's a very good point. Um, experimenting a little bit more. Um, I'm really proud to see a lot of the kind of Premiere and After Effects streams we've seen recently um, because that used to be quite daunting for a lot of um, you know people tuning in. So I hope you've had the kind of help you needed with that at home. Um, but yeah, exploring. Mm -hmm. How are you getting on, Danny? <laughs> yeah, I'm moving forward quickly, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You felt the time pressure. I put that countdown on you, and <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but it's also uh, interesting for me to see, like, yeah, even more happy accidents are happening, and yeah. So, which color should the sunglasses have? I was this whole time. I was picturing a black somehow. <laughs> a black, okay, <laughs> but um, it's definitely not the bolder choice. Yeah, but it's classy, so. Yep. Yeah, it's really working nicely. And it's because there is no black, so. Yeah. 
Das sind fast Tiere. Ups. <laughs> We have um, our friendly Gareth in the chat saying, Hi, all, I'm fashionably late as usual. Hey, Gareth, <laughs> we're about to leave now. <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> so, watch for the next 10 minutes and then just backtrack and watch the replay. <laughs> I love that. So, I'm putting everything in groups all the time in between. It's also helping it helping me to like keep it clean and find things yeah. again because there are so many layers after. Well, so where did I put the eyebrow? I have one. We mm -hmm. did one here. Something you'd think you never hear. <laughs> where did I put the eyebrow? <laughs> And it's fatal problems. <laughs> So there it is. Now we need the detail on the nose. We have an interesting question from Sandrine, who's asking if you ever use gradients in your work. You're in these block colors, right? Uh, most likely, but also a couple of gradients sometimes, mm -hmm. but not yeah. like wildly everywhere, just like yeah. in small sections, because yeah. sometimes it makes such a beautiful, like it gives, gives more depth. Yeah. But Not too much yet, but maybe I should uh, try it out a bit more. But yeah, usually more in the background, but it's more like to to display shadowy. Yeah, just yeah, a bit of depth. Yeah, we could check out if if her hair would be awesome with like a oh that would be awesome plum orange maybe. Yep. Oh, You've added so much life to this since the beginning. I can't believe an hour has passed and <laughs> we're here. Me neither. It's always the same. Mm -hmm. Something like that. That's amazing. Maybe. So we have Love plum it. on the hat and then it's getting more orangey. Nice. Yeah, that could, yeah, it's actually really nice. I really enjoy it. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Mm. Well, there you go. I'd see gradients in your hair to add volume on the streaks. Good point. Mm. And the wife could also get a gradient, actually, yep. I think. With the blue of the pants, maybe. Taking that feedback live. Yeah. I mean, it's so interesting to also get um, everyone's thought and like get inspired by it. I think that's such a wonderful tool as well like to uh, get better and create new things i think it's actually really nice like you have the blue here and the petra on top yep yeah let's see how it looks without the pencil sketch in the back oh yeah it's quite nice i'm definitely gonna post that one uh yeah probably by next week okay guys yeah the, and the where latest. are you is that instagram yeah i think on instagram or i could also share on discord or behance definitely i also yeah. want to share the the olympia one i'm currently working on the case to make that look beautiful oh nice yeah i think the hair is really yeah. nice interesting i like how that sun pops out as well Hey. Tim has put the Discord link in the chat. Um, we are always there in between streams. There's always someone to speak to if you're stuck or need, um, you know, a bit of a community support. Um, come and join along. Final touches, Danny. <laughs> I'm. Uh, yeah pressure putter <laughs> right here yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily i'm not there in your real life when you're doing client work <laughs> telling you you need to get it on and move 
this is the cruelty of these dreams. Um, you know, we're putting pressure. Yeah, but I love a challenge as well, so. Yep. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I was thinking I could maybe be, I, I don't know, before the stream, I always think that I could actually finish. <laughs> So I love the ambition. Um, all, all the guests are the same. And um, once you're up there on screen, it's a lot of different story. Because we chat, Danny, that's why. <laughs> I'm here yeah. to poke at you and distract you. <laughs> but no, you got pretty far. That kite okay. made it as well. We're looping back to the story of the beginning on the kite. <laughs> Connor added. So I'm trying to add a few more things quickly. And so. we have Andreas who has to go. Bye, Andreas. Thank you for joining. And some who are thank joining you. now, Jessica saying hi. I love the illustration. Um, well, Jessica, you if you so weren't here for the full hour, you can keep watching this. It will be up on replay. Um. <laughs> Stefan in the chat is saying, chanting is chat plus painting. <laughs> That's a lot of what we're doing in here. Oh, <laughs> it's happened. almost like I knew it was time. <laughs> <laughs> Just me out. Hmm. Ben, it seems that the your iPad knew it was the end. Yeah, there maybe it's slowly coming back. <laughs> um, I don't know what will... happened there. We will see this anyways, you're you're back on screen, but with the iPad, but uh, we will see this on your Instagram as a final piece as well. And you mentioned that. Um, <laughs> Jessica, yes, have to catch the replay. Can you nice? Thank you. Thank you for the stream. Um, and yeah, we have a good cue here. Um, was there a final little touch that we can put Danny before we wrap up? <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Looks pretty good, hey? Yeah, Is there anything from the palette that you didn't use? I think you used pretty much everything. You worked your way. Yeah, I used everything. And I switched to the petrol. And yeah, I'm quite happy with yeah. the gradients. Thanks so much for the idea. Looks yeah. pretty awesome. Probably going to add it to like, this pink one with the eye. There's going to be a gradient as well. Yeah. I think it's going to be awesome. We'll add all the shadings later. And yeah. Loved it. Danny, thank you so much for always, yeah, turning up and being so relaxed and open with the community and working with us. It's awesome. Um, hope you enjoyed your time being back. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It was lovely as of always. Course. Thank you. And we want to see you, you again you. and the community as well. And I have to say thanks to all of you who are tuning in on this Friday. If it's a sunny day, even more so. I mean, go out and enjoy it now. Go out and enjoy your weekend. Um, I will as well. Um, but we'll see you back on Monday for our big week, our hackathon. It will all be on InDesign, as I mentioned. Um, we yeah, talked through a lot of things today, Max as well. Loads of exciting things happening. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, have a beautiful weekend, everyone. And see you all on Monday on this UK stream at 12 p.m. UK time. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs>